Hey everyone, this is Nathan from Desert Tropical Paver Restoration. We're out here in North Peoria today. We got a lot of pavers that we're going to be stripping some sealer off. We're going to be cleaning. We're going to be sanding all the joints and then we're going to be resealing. All right, so here's the first part. So this, this job is an, an unfortunate case because the uh, sealer that's on here was recommended to the homeowner um, and uh, got put on and you can see the pavers are just completely white and just, just atrociously discolored. So you can see all this discoloration here, this the sealer is just completely turned white. Oh, let me get out of this. It's just turned white and just flaking off. Um, so it's pretty much this driveway. Uh, there's a walkway and then uh, it goes all the way into the back, which I'll show you guys. But this is uh, not a fun situation for anyone because obviously the product to put this on, I'm sure was expensive. And then for jobs like this, we have to charge about four times the cost because it's extremely labor intensive and it's also very costly for us to strip all this off. So it's uh, not not my favorite type of job, but we're gonna get it done. And then here's everything in the back right here. We got a walkway, goes along the side, and then a uh, pool deck, back patio area. So this here is actually a little bit more intact here. It's got better color, um, but you can see just all the discoloration, especially up close. It's it's failing so not not as bad as the driveway but it's because it's more in the shade but you can see like the more sunny areas it's not looking too swell so it's gonna be quite the project it's gonna be a lot of work but we're gonna get it done all right getting the stripping product down here nice heavy flood coat gonna let this dwell for 30 to 45 minutes keeping it nice and moist and uh, sealers are just gonna basically turn white and start crumbling off and then gotta blast it off. All right, so it's coming along back here. So the stripper has kicked in very nicely and basically turned this all white. And then Joe's been working on getting it all stripped off over here, just blasting it paver by paver, trying to get it all off. day two out here so we got most of this stripped we did a kind of a light touch-up coat in some of the areas under here that are covered and a little bit out here um and this is actually can't really see in the shade but right here you can see this is all of the residue from the uh, sealer that we stripped off so obviously today um it's all dry so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to vacuum up as much as we can uh kind of brush it out of the turf uh, just to kind of clean things up um, before we start blasting again. And then we're uh, going to get this finished up today. So we're just going to let this sit. And then we're going to do kind of a once over, get the residual sealer off, uh, try to clean things up as much as we can. We always let the, the homeowners know that it's going to be messy um, and that, you know, we can't clean up 100%, but we do try what we can. So let's get to it. All right, everything is stripped off. We've just been uh, sand re-sanding all the joints here. So now we're gonna do our last prep step, which is basically taking a leaf blower, blowing off all the residual sand that's on the surface, blowing the joints out a little bit, and then we'll be all ready for the sealer. All right, first part of sealing is doing this travertine pool coping. So we always do it by hand with these masonry sponges. That way we don't get any overspray in the pool. And then we can also get the, uh, the inside edge nice and sealed. So I'm almost finished with this. Just got that last section and then Joe's over there spraying the uh, first coat of sealer on the pavers. So this is gonna look like a whole new patio once we're finished and driveway too in the front. All right, and that is a wrap. We are all finished here. Got two coats of a penetrating wet look sealer. Really, really durable, really good quality stuff. Getting these pavers look absolutely beautiful. Um, and uh, this is a really good example when it comes to paper sealing or, or you know, a lot of things when it comes to DIY projects. A lot of times it actually ends up being cheaper just you know hiring a professional company to do it right the first time um, because if a diy project goes wrong it can be pretty costly so really glad that we could get this sorted out for the customer get these pavers looking amazing like they should and uh yeah that's a wrap that, that's how we do it